Hey guys, it's uh, Samuel Cordillo and I decided to make this uh, video tutorial to explain how to export your model from Mixamo to A-Frame VR and merge all the animation all together so you, you don't have to uh, call a new model every time and you have a smooth transition between each animation. It was really hard to do. I've been spending a few days and a lot of uh, sleepless nights on that problem. I'm not a 3D modeler or anything else. I'm a developer and I have no knowledge whatsoever in Blender or any other software. So I want to thank uh, Don McCurdy who was really, really helpful and Joey Campbell from New York who uh, gave me a lot of uh, good solutions. There is still one bug that I was not able to go through and may maybe you will be able to. Uh, I have no clue if it comes from Magica Voxel or Mixamo or the way uh, we are merging the files. If you find a solution, please let me know and I will be very, very happy to redo another video tutorial and fix that problem or even just put like a little note. This tutorial is here to mainly explain to developers like me how to do it so they don't have to spend hundreds of hours trying and uh, to understand how 3D softwares are working. Uh, here we're going to use Magica Voxel model, uh, which is a software that allows you to build a little characters or scene uh, with blocks, a bit like a Minecraft way. Uh, we're going to use Blender and Mixamo. Mixamo, it gives a skeleton to your model because your model is like in a T pose and then you give it like a, a bones, a skeleton, so it can move. And Mixamo is doing that. Through Mixamo, as we have a skeleton, we can also give uh, animation to it and then we have to export it in order to use it in a frame and we merge all the different files of the animation in one file through Blender. So that's where Blender is useful and then we can finally use it in our a frame project. Let's dive in and uh, let's, let's see how it works. The first thing we want to do is to set up the environment. In this tutorial, we're going to use Magica Voxel to export a 3D model and Blender to merge all the animations in one file. We'll need also one exporter from 3GS, which is an add-on, that will allow us to export our Blender file to a JSON file, which is the format that we're going to use in A-Frame or for any other 3GS project. So for the add-on, you go on the GitHub of the 3GS, so in the repository, and you clone it. When it's done, you go in 3GS, Utils, Exporter, Blender, add-ons and you copy the folder here io3 and what you want to do is to go in the installation path of blender so if you are on windows it will probably be c program files blender foundation and so on here on the mac you have to go in blender open it and then go in contents resources 2.78 scripts add-ons and pass it here and here it's added. Next things we want to do is to go back in our uh, Blender thing and open Blender, go in File, User Preferences, Add-ons, and here Import and Export. And we want to find the add-on we just added. So it's called 3GS Format. Don't mind the icons, just, just click on it and that's it. You can close this uh, windows and you can even close Blender. It's alright, everything has been done correctly. So now we have Blender set up. What we want to do is to uh, open Magica Voxel. I'm going to show it to you. It's totally downloadable from the description, but it's free to build your own model or download any model online. So this will be our model. I'm not a 3D designer. I'm not an artist. So please be indulgent with my creation. Um, here, what we're going to do is to export it in an object. And I'm going to export it in the main folder here. So I'm going to save and here, if I go back in my main folder, I see it generated me on bureau, uh, uh, MTL file, an object file, and a PNG, which is the texture. I want to select all of them and I want to put them in a zip archive. Uh, it's the same on Windows. Then you want to go on Mixamo. You will need to create an account. I already did, so create an account if you don't. Once it's done, you go on Store. It will open a new possibility and you click on Upload. And here, you drag and drop your archive on it and your 3D model will appear. You click on Next. You set it up, so you choose like a chin, then the wrist, then the elbows the knees and the groan okay and here because there is no fingers you have to say no fingers if it has fingers then you can you can choose here whatever fits your 3d model then you click on next and uh, mixamo will uh, auto rig your model 
to make it able to be animated. Okay, once our model is animated, you will see it up here, having a weird animation. So you can see my model is a bit, um, <laughs> I will say fucked up. Um, but that's because I'm not a 3D artist, obviously. So if you click on next, uh, it will say, okay, it's complete. You click on view my assets and you will see your, uh, per your character. What we want to do is now click on it and click on Q download and select Colada Typos, so you, you just leave the default settings. Just be sure that you're exporting it in Colada, then Q Download. Then you go back in My Characters, click back on it, Find Animation, and here we are going to add some animations. So for example, we're going to add Running. For that, you click here, then View and Download. Then you go back in My Character, and we're going to apply the exact same. So we want maybe uh, the Ready Idle, and then we want to add uh, a dying animation. So you search die. And for example, dying backward seems really good. So you click on it. If you download. Okay, great. So now if you go in my animation, you can see all of the three animation. We're not actually going to use running. Uh, we're going to use ready, idle, and dying backward. Because we just want our 3D model to be waiting and when we click on it it died but it's exactly the same for each animation there is only one trick is for animation like running if you click on it you will see that the 3d model is actually moving uh on the space we don't want that to happen so what you want to do is to click on in place and then you can download it and as you can see when you check this box the model stay in the same uh place so here what we want to do is to click on ready evil and dying backward click on q download select collider you download and now it directly redirects you to uh, downloads and you have everything so you download all the three uh, files so you click download 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 and it will download you an archive I actually put every uh, files in a folder already so here we have our T pose here is the animation dying backward and this is it the idle mode and we have a folder textures uh, basically in each archive you have a folder texture but if you put all the DIE in the same folder with the same texture folder they will all work uh, the same so so it doesn't really matter. Now what we need is to go on Blender. So we're going on Blender, open Blender. And the first things we want to do is to delete or make the cube invisible. So here in my case, I'm going to make it invisible. Just so you know, every steps we've been doing so far are exactly the same on Mac or Windows. So it's really the same things on both platforms. Now it's going to be very, very easy. We just go on File, Import, and you choose Colada, and you go in the correct path, and we choose the T pose initially. So you click on it and you be sure that you have checked the box import units. So you click on that, import Colada, and you can see that the model now is really huge. You could scale it or anything, we're just going to leave it like this. And here on the side you see it's called armature, so it's a new thing that appeared. You click on it on the little plus and it open uh, three. You click on unnamed and there is uh, different icons. You can see that the model is actually gray. We don't want that. So you click on the little ball here and click on texture. So now we see that it's all black with a little light on the bottom. You press the, the, the letter N, November, which open uh, a new tab on the right. And you scroll to shading and you choose GLSL. And here now you see it became a wireframe. We, want, we don't want that to be a wireframe. We don't want that to, we actually want that to be a solid model. So so for that you click on unnamed remember in here you have material you click on material then you click on here and you want to choose material so now it go back to a solid model then you click on texture which is next to the little ball and we choose texture instead of text so you click here and you choose texture and now there is texture even if it appear a bit weird like this, uh, when we export it, it will be all fine, so you don't have to be worried. Now the second step is to add names to each of our animations to be able to call them in our code. So for this position, we want to call it pose. For example, as it's like the T pose. Pose. You just double click on it to call, to open renaming. Uh, we're going to rename also armature, so we are not lost. And now we just want to import other animations. So Colada, and we're going to import Ready Idle. Be sure that the box is checked here. Actually, we're going to rename it now. So this was this was evil. And now I'm going to import uh, the dying one. So this one. Be sure it's checked. And you rename them. And here, what we want to do is to make them invisible as well. Uh, it's just for the demonstration. You in the next like when you will do it like and you're used to do it, you really don't have to make them invisible because they will not be exported. So it's just to show you. Uh, but we're not in obligation to do it. So. 
we're going to do idle as well okay okay so as you can see I go first here then I open it and I also make sure that the here and name is not visible so now we only have pose visible and what we want to do is to try our animation so um, what you want to do is to uh, open new little thing so if you grab it on the left side you can and and like slide it on the top you can open a new new tab I will say and here you click on dope sheet and then a dope sheet you click on action editor and you can see here pose you want to check for example idle okay perfect and you want to check maybe dying as well so here perfect there is all animation so we have it all and that's it now we just want to click on the pose then unnamed and click on so be sure that it's selected then click on file export and 3.js in here um, I made a folder called JSON but you can export it whenever you want we're going to call it a uh, little guy and we have to make sure that we're checking the good things so here we're going to check bones skinning then the type we're going to put geometry here you want to check face material skeletal animation you want it to be on pose you want to check keyframe animation and you want to check textures enable precision then you can click on save setting um, if you save this file as a blend file for if you want to add any uh, additional uh, animation or whatever uh, at least you will not have to check these things again so when all of this is done you just click on export 3 so uh, let's go back again on it so you want to go everything's checked here geometry phase material pose keyframe animation embed animation texture export texture enable precision so now you can export it and now I can go in JSON and we have the thing so we have the JSON file and the texture we copy both of that in our uh, project and now we are going to be able to actually use them. So we go in our code, so I'm going to open it in Sublime Text. Uh, you can do it on editor you want. And in our code, uh, we are basically importing A-Frame and uh, the A-Frame Extra made by Don McCurdy which is basically a bunch of uh, really useful components including the JSON loader and the animation mixer that we're going to use for this 3D model. So here we want to add a camera. So if you remember the idea in this tutorial is to build a model that is waiting and when you click on it it's dying. So And then what we want is to basically build a entity. We're going to make, uh, make it appear a bit far away from us and then we're going to import it so JSON model equal uh, source and here it's little guy dot JSON and then we have animation mixer and we want to cl to say clip uh, idle because here we will just be waiting and uh, that's it we just want that now I go back I go on my uh, browser and I'm going to browse to my project and we can see that the model is on us and is actually extremely big we don't want that actually. What we want is to um, make it smaller. So we're going to reduce the scale to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Give the scale that you really want for your model to have. You can see that it is in front of us. So we can go around him and this is perfect. Now we want to change the animation so when we click on it. So for that we're going to add a script and do a simple uh, listener we are going to set attribute so obviously you will want to select your things uh, with uh, more optimization here I'm just doing that for the example uh, and we're going just to change the animation mixer clip uh, it was dying and then we also want to put also play true and we also don't want to put that it's looping because if it's looping, then the, li the little guy is going to uh, die again and again. Every time the animation is uh, finishing, it will uh, continue to happen, which is something that we don't want to arrive. So we're going to, to put loop false, and that's it. We go back in our code, refresh, and hopefully it will work. So uh, our little guy is here. I can go around, la la la, and if I click on it, is that? Okay, that's weird. 
So here it is. As you've seen at the end, there is the bug that happens, which is basically when the animation ends, the model go back in a T pose. Uh, I have no clue where that is coming from. I've been trying to investigate without any success. If you have any clue or if you have a success, please let me uh, let me know, and I'll add the notes or do a second video. I don't know, but like just to let other people know how to avoid that to happen. And uh, that's how it works. So this is, at my eyes, the best solution and the most optimized solution as it doesn't take a lot of uh, space because it's a JSON file and you can use it in any 3GS uh, project including of course projects made on A-Frame VR so I do feel this is the best solution and especially because you have everything in one file if you have any suggestions if you have any comments or any things to add please comment or send me a private message I'll be very happy to uh, make that follow and of course all the files are in the description so the link to the uh, 3GS add-on is in the description the link to the 3D model I've made on Magicka Voxel which is absolutely disgusting is in the description as well so yeah feel free to use that and make cool things make cool experience in VR see you